the Ohio Department of Transportation are staying ahead of the storm. Meteorologist Tara Hastings now continues our Storm Team 2 coverage and shows you how ODOT is looking at roadways well before you leave in the morning. Well, with that wintry mix of precipitation heading our way, it's difficult to gauge just how road the roads really are. But thanks to the internet and a network of sensors, it's much easier to see what you're heading into. You may not even notice, but beneath the pavement on Ohio's major interstates is a sensor feeding information 24 hours a day six inch around puck that goes down into the pavement and it's able to read then the temperatures, whether there's dry pavement, ice, rain, just all types of things that are going on out on the roadways. Spaced out along the interstates are small weather stations like these, giving crews clues to what the roads look like. Rainfall, temperature, and most importantly, surface road conditions allow ODOT to see where the problem spots are. You can also see if ice is a problem by clicking a mouse. ODOT has upgraded its website with an easier to use interface. By clicking on the snowflake, you can instantly see the information sent back from those weather sensors. You can find out what the conditions are, whether the pavement is dry or wet. You can find out how fast traffic is moving to see if there's any kind of backups. You can also check the tra uh, traffic cameras if you are somebody who's more visual and you want to actually see what it looks like out there. It's always more difficult to see freezing rain on the pavement before it's too late. But this extra tool will give you a bird's eye view before you head on the highway. So if you click on the traffic tab at WDTN.com and scroll to the bottom of the map, you'll be able to see the construction and traffic incidents. I'll put all of the links on our website, WDTN.com. I'm meteorologist Tara Hastings, 2 News.